The next episode is Magenta Gets Glasses, and it's the return of that Miranda girl who I kind of thought was hot. <laughs> so yeah, Magenta's having trouble seeing, so she gets glasses, and this mail time song is like at the end of the episode, and I didn't like that. But yeah, I don't know, this episode was just so weird though. What about when both Steve and Miranda were going to sit in the thinking chair? Like, they sit on a thinking couch, apparently. I mean, remember this one episode where Steve and Joe were, like, both sitting in the thinking chair? Like, Joe was on, like, the side of it, apparently. Remember that? I don't know. But that couch, though, I don't know. It kind of looks cool. But, yeah. Kind of looks like that couch from, like, the Snick thing from, like, Nickelodeon back in, like, the 90s. But, yeah. And this was the first time I saw Blue was actually a clue. So yeah, apparently. And I like the glasses song that they sing uh, in the mail time segment. So yeah. Oh, kitty. Environments. I barely remember about this episode. Um, I don't know. They were learning about, like, different stuff. I think they were, like, gonna go on, like, some camping trip or something. And, yeah, I think I remember seeing this, like, one time on, like, uh, on, like, On Demand one time. I barely remember it. But, yeah, apparently. I'd have to check it out again. Uh, Stormy Weather is where the weather is actually going crazy outside the house. So, yeah, they're trying to figure out, uh, uh, what's going on. Hold on, I have to, like, pause this for a second. So, yeah, they find out, actually, that it's actually about to snow outside. I mean, shouldn't this, like, uh, take place before the, uh, uh, what's called the, uh, snow, the, uh, holiday episode? Blue's collection is actually one I've noticed. So, uh something interesting about. Blue lost something. It was her ball, apparently. So, yeah. And I actually noticed the end credit music sounded just like, uh, the, uh, uh, music for, like, the So Long song in most season one and two episodes. So, yeah. But, yeah. Apparently. So, yeah. Cafe Blue. I know a lot of people like this one. So, yeah. But, yeah. This, uh... In this episode, uh, they're making a cafe in, like, the house. Where some of their friends were, like, coming to eat lunch. And, yeah. They, they have some pretty interesting stuff for, uh, lunch. Like, and actually, um... They were out of, like, spaghetti sauce, and yeah, and they were hoping that everyone would just order, like, uh, cheese sandwiches, but they all ordered spaghetti. I mean, yeah. And both Steve and, uh, Mr. Salt do into, like, the grocery store, rather than just actually going there. I mean, they were probably in, like, a hurry or something. So they're trying to figure out what they should give to them for, uh, for dessert. And yeah. They make ice cream sandwiches, two cookies of different flavors, according to this episode, and, uh, ice cream in the middle. I've actually had those before, and they're delicious. Sort of. I mean, I only like the cookie part, but whatever. But, yeah. So, yeah, it was an interesting episode, actually. Uh, now season four, Imagination. And imagination is spelled two words in this title. Does anyone see anything wrong with that? I don't know. It just seems so weird. Mr. Salt's having trouble using his imagination, so yeah, he's trying to like get, like, start using it throughout the entire episode. And yeah. I don't know. There's lots of interesting stuff in this episode, actually. Yeah, apparently. So, yeah. Adventure. Oh, my God. This one has the best version of the opening music uh, in the intro. But, yeah. Also, the intro for, uh, like, uh, the 
uh, uh, season four episodes is just so weird, though. Like, at the beginning, when we, like, go into, like, the book, we actually see Magenta and Periwinkle's houses on screen, which I don't remember this intro ever happening, at least in these episodes with Steve, but I only remember every season four episode except for the last three having the same intro from season one, two, and three. But yeah, it was just so weird though. Steve's like calling out to like the viewers from one of the windows. He like goes out the other window. It was just so weird though. I don't know. It just seems so awkward though. So yeah, they're playing an adventure game. They're pretending that uh, King Horus is like trapped by like the evil sorcerer Periwinkle or something. It was actually an interesting episode, like, when, uh, he, like, used a spell on him, like, uh, turn him into ice and stuff, trying to, like, m pretend to be, like, the sun to, like, unfreeze him. But, yeah. <laughs> it was actually pretty interesting. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, apparently. Uh, the Anything Box. I've seen this one, like, a while ago. So, yeah, they're learning about different kinds of boxes and different uses for them. I don't, I barely remember this. I think they, like, skidoo into, like, this place with, like, a bunch of boxes and pretend them to be different things. I don't know. I don't know. I have to check out this episode again. Uh, Super Friends. So, yeah, they're pretending to be superheroes and stuff. It's just so weird, though, because in the intro, like, Steve's, like, his, like, normal self, and then right as he answers the door, he's, like, in a superhero costume, apparently. It's kind of like three in, like, some episodes of Seven Little Monsters. At first, he's, like, perfectly normal, and then he's, like, something, like, like, that stupid, like, uh, like, race car guy or something. I don't know. But, yeah. But we'll talk about that another day. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, yeah, they're trying to figure out what strange noise is. And apparently it was the washing machine. Also, in the washing room, in like the uh, laundry room, there's like this weird like uh, coat hanger that looks just like uh, mailboxes extendo arms, which yeah, apparently. So yeah. Next up is what's new blue. See, they're learning about different kinds of new things. Like, there's this new friend named, uh, uh, I forget what he is, but he's kind of like the sand thing. I don't know. I forget his name. But yeah, apparently Paprika's moving out of her crib and going to sleep in a big bed. And apparently, also, we find out that, uh, Miss Pepper's pregnant and is having another baby. So yeah. Blue's new place is where they're trying to figure out a new place for Blue to hang out or something. So, yeah. Apparently. So, yeah. And they're trying to help, like, Paprika move out of her old bedroom. So, yeah. Apparently. And Mr. Saul and Miss Pepper Day, which, yeah, apparently. Don't you just love the We Appreciate You song they sing at the end of the episode? What about that weird macaroni art thing that, um, uh, that, like, Slippery Soap makes. Like, he makes, like, a bunch of spaghetti noodles in the shape of, like, Mr. Salt and Miss Pepper. So, yeah. The baby's here. Oh, dear God. So, yeah, they go to, like, the hospital to meet Paprika's baby, uh, brother, I think. And, yeah, I think, like, the, uh, the nurse at the hospital, I think she's, like, voiced by, like, uh, one of the cast members from, like, Friends, I think. It was either that or, like, a different episode I was thinking of. I don't know. But, yeah. So, yeah, apparently. There's, like, these different kinds of rooms for, like, different types of babies. Like, the little, like, dinosaurs or something. It was just so weird, though. What about when they interrupt the mail time song, though? Ugh. Making changes. They were learning about different changes, and they were learning how to change the baby's diaper. Which, yeah, okay, I guess. I don't know. What about when they're singing the mail time song, and they realize they closed the uh, window? Actually, they were singing the mail time song perfectly normal in this episode, even though the baby was sleeping. So, yeah. I don't know. 
Also, the Portuguese guy in the Portuguese version of this uh, show in this episode, uh, his hair was much shorter, which just confused me for some odd reason. But, yeah. Bugs. Oh, dear God. I've seen various clips of this, but not the whole thing. All I remember is that the paw print was like a ladybug or something. It was just so weird, though. Un dia uh, con plum. I have no idea what that means. So, yeah, Periwinkle's friend Plum comes to visit, and they're learning about, like, Spanish and stuff. I hadn't seen this episode in a while, but all I remember is that the song from that was featured uh, briefly in the 100th episode special... Uh, where, like, they were singing a song uh, with this, like, weird guy. And they were singing about pantalones. And that was just so weird. <laughs> What's inside? See, they find, like, this old, like, uh, treasure box uh, that was hidden behind a secret closet that they completely forgot about. And they're trying to figure out what uh, was inside it. You might as well sing the Who's Inside It song from Barney's Great Adventure. Because that song's annoying. But yeah, it was kind of interesting. Like when they find like the uh, one of the clues by opening up and then it just disappears and stuff. Like opening up like a bag. So yeah, they find out it's like some like a uh, toy farm set or something. Kind of made me think of the Teletubbies episode Catherine's Toy Farm with like that little girl showing her toy farm set. And yeah, but yeah. Blocks is where they're learning about blocks, and I think in one scene he accidentally calls mailbox mail blocks or something. So yeah, a green puppy is like knocking down his own like uh uh blocks. Which yeah, by the way, it's kind of confusing uh whether or not like green puppy is like a boy or girl. Also, I think they call him green in this episode. Just that. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Apparently. And they skidoo into, like, Blue's own, like, block land or something. It was just so weird, though. Let's Boogie, where they're learning about different kinds of ways of moving or something. I don't know. It's just so weird, though. Like, when, uh, like, Steve's, like, jiggling, like, this, uh, uh, plate of gelatin. Gelatin. It's pure vitamins and nutrients. I want a vitamins and nutrients. <laughs> Thumbs up if you can guess what I was just referencing. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Next up is Blue's Backyard Ball Game Bonanza. I barely remember much of this episode. They're playing some ball game. And Steve was wearing his, like, uh, uh, clothes from the pool party episode. So it's kind of weird, though. But, yeah. I, don't, I barely remember this. Let's plant. Oh, dear God. I barely remember this. I don't think I ever saw this one, though. I don't know. I'll skip this one just because I don't know. I don't know. Rhyme Time is another one I don't think I've seen. I've only seen, like, the mail time part where he's, like, trying to say the mail's here, but he kept saying the sales here or the pails here. But, yeah. Puppets. Oh, dear God. Sock Puppet Returns. And, yeah, they're learning about puppets and trying to put on a play, actually. And they tr put on the play of, like, Jack and the Beanstalk. Next up is Blue's Book Nook, which is where, uh, they're, like, um, they're, like, um, trying to, like, uh, make, like, uh, a different, like, I don't know. Yeah. They're, like, uh, like, Blue is, like, making, uh, um, opening up her own library in her new spot in the uh, bedroom that she made. I think there are two episodes I kind of forgot to mention, though. There's this one episode where, like, uh, uh, Blues uh, makes up her own school, and Steve actually mentions that one day he would want to go to college. And another one, there's an episode called Something to Do Blue, where they're making, like, a type of stew, and they were, like... They were, like, trying to think of what Blue wants to do, and Blue didn't even know the answer to her own game in this episode. So, yeah. These episodes aired much later on in the series' life, because they kind of forgot to air it. So, yeah. But that's it for today.